Welcome to Coral Florida Living. We're fixing to go catch some fish. That's right. Today, we will be using fresh shrimp, dead shrimp, a ghost shrimp pump, and I have a sand flea rake. And I got fish bites, fish go. And I might toss some artificial around. I got some new poles and rods and reels and some I need to work on while I'm out there fishing. Let's see if we can catch something. So, we'll see you when we get there. All right, we're here. I don't see Stanley, y'all. Stanley! 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 Maybe he'll show up. All right, I got my spikes out. My pole holders out. It's a little hot out here today. Whew, sweating. I'm a, probably a good mile down the beach. A mile from a, I know I'm a mile from a, my Jeep. But we're gonna get everything out and give it a shot. Doesn't look too bad. It's not the best conditions, but hey, it's stirring up a little bit. The water's, I don't know. I give it a five, six, maybe six plus. It don't look too bad, actually. Go oh, find this nice little shell. Now we're gonna use the blue easy crab fish bites. And we got fresh dead shrimp. I've got a double pompano leader rig on that one with a four ounce spot neck. Same with that. That one I have a cheap Walmart steel leader with two red beads and a four ounce spot neck. And 15 foot, 12 foot, 15 foot. I got some more. I get time out here. I'll spool this and spool that one and work on that one maybe. But I brought this out here if I wanted to work on them while I'm fishing. All right, the current's not bad, bad, but them two stuck. This one's pulling to the left a little bit. I'm just gonna let them sit. I just got them out there, so. We're gonna go on and do this up, and we'll be back at ya. We try. Pretty scenery. Smacked it hard. Probably a bluefish or something smacking it like that. Cause that thing went. That was it. I'm gonna let it sit a minute. I know my line's still intact, so I've already casted it back out and it's moved a little bit, but it was down there earlier. But it's it's holding a little bit now. Hey, I'm out here blind raking. I got one sample. What's up? All right, we got, I found one sand flea. I'll look again later. I got a ghost shrimp pump, but I don't see any holes bubbling up yet. Maybe when the tide drops. I might have a better luck finding sand fleas too. But I got one sand flea on that and rebated with shrimp. I had a few hits here and there, but nothing so far. 
can tell I'm a pro at the sand flea root. <laughs> Rape my foot like a big dummy. That's my first time ever using a sand flea rake, believe it or not. Never used a sand flea rake till now after, what, 300 trips out here probably. Today it's a kitty cat, but hey, no skunk. And I actually that's circle hooks, man. He was playing with it and I could feel him nibbling at it and I actually I have the I had to set the hook on it just to get him. It was hooked. Well you can see. Right in the middle. Anyway, I'm gonna get him back. Little kit little hard head cat. Little hard head cat. Whiskers! <laughs> Man, that water's done got dirty real quick. It wasn't the best, but it just looks like it's getting a little dirty. We on, we're on the outgoing tide now. It's, that water just changed all of a sudden. It was green money, now it's uh, turning kind of brownish. <laughs> anyway, we still out here trying. We got, hey, we got one catfish so far. So. Been out here a little over an hour. I'm gonna fish this spot a few more hours, see what happens. Just gonna hang out and see what happens. I have not been fishing in almost three weeks, so I'm gonna give it my all, at least a few hours anyway. And that one, that one keeps pulling to the left, man. The rest are staying out all right, but it must be something. I think I'm gonna short cast this one. Let's see if I can get that Sputnik to stick. The other two are, they'll move every once in a while, but they're staying out. But this one is keeps rolling in. All right, I shortcasted this one. I'm 75, 100 feet right there. It keeps pulling and pulling, so let's just use it as a, you know, I'm going to fish 50 to 100 feet with it. These are, uh, these I am throwing anywhere from 150 to 300 feet. It all depends. I'd say average about 200, 225. It's about where they're at. But give or take, you know. But this one I'm going to keep close. Yeah, one catfish so far. Actually, I was just sitting, sitting in my chair, watching everything. An osprey dipped down right in front of my line and got a fish and just took off. I'm like, what? I mean, it was a little, probably a little mullet or a little whiting, maybe. I'm like, hey, I've caught one catfish so far. So we're still at it. Tide's dropping. We're going to pull the sand flea rake back out in a little bit. We're going to move down. And I'm going to use two different kinds of shrimp. Some old shrimp, new shrimp. And we're going to look to see if we can use the ghost shrimp pump. Or at least get some sand fleas. And move down here in a little bit right now i'm just gonna let everything sit for about another 15 20 minutes and we'll start moving and and then we'll start rethinking the situation still can't beat the view i mean if i just come out here and just sit you know get some exercise and can't beat the view maybe get some groceries who knows Nothing so far, just that kitty cat. Beat the fried chicken. <laughs> Couldn't get that sand flea rate. 
See if I can get some sand, please. And here, maybe get one more cast, and then we're gonna have to move everything down a little bit. Just, you know, get it closer. Is what it is. That water is getting dirty, man. Looks like that's all it's biting right now. <laughs> Give that a shot. Two catfish so far. We're gonna rebate everything and see what's up. See how I got them shrimp in my hand real quick? <laughs> the magic of the camera. Hey, regardless of what I've caught, I dropped a lot. We got a new bird right there. <laughs> we're gonna call him, uh, we're gonna call him Donkey Kong. Here's Donkey Kong. Why not? Sounds good. Donkey Kong, what's up? There's Donkey Kong. Look at Donkey Kong. Get it, boy. I ain't never seen him out here. Anyway, now that Donkey Kong's moved on, we're going one more round. It's been terrible. I'm not gonna lie. So, but hey. It ain't just about fishing, it's about getting out here, man. It's about, and no, I'm not saying that because I didn't catch no fish. I, hey, I caught two catfish, whatever. If I was hungry, I took them home. It ain't what I wanted, but it is what it is. But it, it's not just about, you know, come out here and just beat everybody catching fish. I really don't do that. I try to beat my best record, or the last time I went fishing. Just, just for myself. And that's what it's all about. Just come out here for yourself, man. Come out here and fish. It don't matter if you know what you're doing. If you do know what you're doing, it doesn't matter. Just come out here and fish. Have fun. Enjoy the fresh air, the breeze, you know, the ocean, the sand. It's, that's what it's all about. You know, as kids, we used to love to come out here. I, I still love to come out to the beach. But we used to love to come to the beach and wasn't no fishing. Come to the beach. Let's go to the beach. And fishing is a plus. I don't know how my lens was looking then, but fishing is a plus now. So grab your poles, man. Next time you go to the beach, get out there and fish. It don't matter if you know what you're doing or not. Hey, I got enough info on my my channels. You can figure something out. You can catch something. You know. Just get you a double dropper. I mean, go to Walmart. Who cares? People pick on that. Who cares? People want to pick on that and say that. I started with a Zepco and a toilet paper tube with duct tape. Come on. 
and I caught a redfish. And I didn't even know what kind of fish it was. Go get you, go to Walmart, get a Pompano leader or steel leader and some hooks, number two. Get you a couple of sinkers. Get Sputnik out here in the ocean. And, you know, at least three or four ounce. If you want mono braid, it don't matter. Get your rod, it don't matter what rod and rip. At least have 10 pound braid, mono, and up. And just get out here and fish, man. All you need is one pole. Uh, get shrimp. Don't do worms. Ain't nothing gonna mess with no worms out here. Trust me, I don't trust. But get you some shrimp. Your best bet's fish bites. You can find them at Walmart. Um, some shrimp. Bait stores all around the beach. Fresh dead shrimp, all that good stuff. Frozen shrimp, whatever. Get out here and fish, man. That's what it's all about. But on that note, since I didn't catch nothing, <laughs> except two catfish, I'm letting this run for a few more minutes. Check the pocket. I got enough for one more, one more round. I'll probably do one more round. Yeah, I've been out here four hours. I've caught two catfish. I haven't moved. I've just been enjoying myself. I could move up and down and chase the current. I'm just enjoying myself. So, there's no reason to grab a fishing pole. Get your Zepco, man. Rinse it off when you're done. Get 440 Zepco. Who cares? Get you some shrimp, come out here and cast that thing. You'll catch something. Have fun. That's what it's all about. Well, y'all, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to do one more round. Of course, you know how it is. Something comes up, I will let you know. I might do an outro on the way down. I got a mile to walk, so might as well have fun with it. Uh, two catfish today. Nothing really... Nothing really to show you, man. It is what it is. Thank y'all for watching Grill Florida Living. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, too. Ding, ding. Peace.